In today's video, I'm doing a slightly new uh, technique. I guess it would be a twist on a technique that I've done before. I'm working on a 20 inch canvas. And to start out, I'm just doing a, an undercoat of black paint. So I, um, I had actually used this canvas for a pendulum pour that didn't work out. So I just primed it and I'm reusing it. Um, you can kind of see the pendulum pour underneath, but I kind of like the texture. So I'm just using my uh, brush and some carbon black paint to do a nice base coat. Uh, before moving on, I'm going to let this base coat dry. So once it's all dry, I'm actually going to use uh, some masking tape and tape down a design and then I'm going to pour over it and then once it's dry I'll peel the paint off and see what it looks like. I'm hoping to create a really fun design and if this works out I would like to use this idea in future pours to create a more abstract painting. I'm hoping that the paint or the tape won't peel the poured paint off so we'll see how it turns out after. So once I have all of my tape down, I'm just going to do an open cup pour. So I have a paper cup and I'm just going to cut the end of it off so that I can pour in the top of the cup on my canvas and then move that paint around. And I decided to use two cups in this pour. I have black for my base paint and then I'm using three metallic colors from Arteza, pink, purple, and a turquoise green. And I'm just putting some of my black paint down and using my sponge brush to um, get a nice even coat to help the rest of the paint move better. And in the open cups, I'm just alternating between each of my colors. And you can see that once that seal from the cup breaks between the paint, you can start seeing those colors um, blend out. I just tilted so that I could get a nice coverage of paint. Um, I actually don't really like the way that it looks right now. This would be something that I would probably re-pour, but since I have that tape down and I want to see how it looks once it's all dry, I'm just going to leave it as is and see if that tape creates a nice design. So it's been drying for a few days. I wanted to make sure that it was really nice and dry so that the tape um, wouldn't damage my design or the paint if it was still slightly wet while I was trying to peel it off. So I just flipped it over and started peeling up some of the tape that I um, had moved, had placed down on the canvas. And I'm just slowly starting to peel it off and it's actually peeling off really nicely. Um, none of the other paint 
is peeling off. That was one thing that I was worried about, that the tape would pull more of the paint on that canvas up, but it seems like it's working really well. And the metallics dried really, really sparkly and shiny, so those look good against the black too. I do really like the way that this turned out. Uh, this creates a really awesome abstract design with that masking tape. Um, it peeled off great. If you do have any paint that somehow gets underneath your tape, you can always just take some black paint and touch up your background. I didn't have too much of an issue with that. Um, but those metallic colors look really great. The design looks really great. So for just a test piece to see how this would work, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And I hope that this works well if I try it again in the future. <laughs>